terrorists. Hold on. Here's Tara's Daily Rant. I've been warning you for a while that the Democrats, along with the FBI and the Department of Injustice, have been working to create a dual justice system in which all protest is illegal or so difficult it's impossible for half the country. But where the other half the country um, is allowed increasingly to use violence to shut down any proceeding it objects to or any speaker it does not like. We saw a perfect example this week of how that would work. It's now been almost two weeks since Riley Gaines was beaten by a man in a skirt on video since the campus police of San Francisco State University were held hostage by the violent mob who threatened their very lives, demanded a ransom to let them go, kept them locked in a room. They had to barricade themselves from the mob because the mob was violent for hours uh, until they were finally rescued by the San Francisco Police Department. It's been almost two weeks. Got video of the violent mob, and yet not one arrest was made. That's how this will go in the future. When free speech is tried by us in areas they control. Unfortunately, they control all areas because of the federal government and its overreach in the Department of Justice, which is a federal agency. And so we've been seeing this in an absolute extreme crackdown on January 6 protesters, never mind the fact that the police even let the lead protester in and escorted him around, the Buffalo guy. Even opened doors for him so he could get in the chambers. He didn't have to break in. So how do you create a system in which half the country cannot protest at all and the other half the protest could beat the tar, uh, the other half the country could beat the tar out of legislators to punish, hit, punch, shut down, maybe even kill those they disagree with or make it so they can't even hold legislative sessions. How do you build a system like that? Well, first you have to take control of the FBI and the Department of Injustice so that even if Republicans win electorally, it does not matter. The career bureaucrats are weaponized and answer only to the Democrats. Check. We already have that. Then you proceed with getting something so terrifying, I literally had a nightmare about it. Like, I don't have a nightmare much about stuff I do here. I go right to sleep. When I, when I fight this stuff, I get charged up. I don't get depressed by it. It actually fuels me. It's called a geofencing warrant. And the FBI and the DOJ have been trying to get one for a while. A geofencing warrant simply allows them to scoop up any cell phone that was in the area and to use your presence via the presence of your cell phone as a crime. Now, you might be a little confused. The FBI and the Department of Injustice have just announced there's going to be hundreds more arrests on the January 6th protest. But it's weird. They're only arresting people outside the Capitol, people who never broke the law. How, how can they do that? Based only on the evidence that their cell phone was in the area, no other evidence of violence or lawbreaking? Nope. That sounds sketchy. Terrorists wanted here. The Terror Show, weekday mornings on News Talk 98.9. WORD, the voice of the Carolinas.